Have you ever had one of those days when a rich, thick milkshake sounds like perfect medicine? Well, coming up in our first story, Miranda Cohen travels to Brownsville to visit a place where the local doctor just might agree with you. Big juicy cheeseburgers, bacon and eggs, and the perfectly crafted banana split. If your doctor is telling you to stay away from these treats, you might be seeing the wrong doctor. He's the only one I try to run off and he keeps coming back. <laughs> Meet Dr. Jack Pettigrew, once a family practitioner here in Brownsville. Now he is the owner of Livingston Soda Fountain and Grill. Most all the people that come in here that are from Brownsville, you know, at some point, I interacted with them, you know, in the, in the medical practice. And they, they laugh at me because now I tell them, I say, now all those things I told you when you were coming to the clinic about you can't have this and don't eat that and avoid this, I said, that's all out the window now. You can, you can eat anything you want. You know, milkshakes are good for you. Dr. Pettigrew's father and grandfather were both pharmacists right here in Brownsville. You can see lots of old reminders from the pharmacy. But young Jack's favorite part of the drugstore was the soda fountain. I remember as a child, you know, going to the soda fountain, getting the cherry coat. As the times changed, all of the lunch counters were replaced with greeting cards. But he never forgot the high countertops or malts from his youth. Uh, broke my heart, but I always wanted to bring that back. Pettigrew followed in his family footsteps and became a pharmacist and came back to work at his dad's pharmacy. Then came a little inspiration from the man upstairs, the doctor living above the drugstore to be exact. My dream was to always be the small town doc that I knew that was above my dad's drugstore. I admired him. He was kind of one of those guys that you just watched them work and kind of wanted to be like that. After nearly 40 years of a successful medical practice, Dr. Pettigrew was ready to revisit his nostalgic love of those old soda fountains. So he purchased one of the town's landmarks, Livingston's Furniture Store, and turned it into an old-fashioned soda shop with a modern twist. The concept may be from a bygone era, but Livingston's soda shop is state of the art with lots of glass and retro teal and gray. I knew some things I did not want. I knew I did not want harsh red color. I knew I wanted something warm and inviting. I just wanted it to be a family friendly atmosphere, really the 50s theme. So my wife was gracious enough to let me uh, live out this dream. Uh, we wanted to do something that would kind of stimulate Browns a little bit. The Pettigrews wanted to fill their menu with homemade sandwiches, salads, wraps, and of course, it couldn't be a soda fountain without a triple-decker club. But I judge a restaurant by its club sandwich. <laughs> right? Yeah. Classic club sandwich and their bacon is amazing. And remember, this is not your grandfather's soda fountain. They also serve up shrimp and grits, Nashville hot chicken, and steak. We've got about five different burgers. The Livingston burger we kind of fancied up uh, with jalapeno pimento cheese and candied bacon. That's a, that's a big seller. Uh, we have a Southwest burger. We have, of course, the patty melt. It's, kind of a burger, it's on rye bread, but the old time burger is just a hamburger with all the trimmings, the lettuce, tomato, mayo, pickle, mustard, onion, and that is our number one. I'm, I'm not talking about number one burger seller. It's our number one item in the restaurant. Here at Livingston Soda Fountain, you know you're going to have a great milkshake, but be sure to have one of the specialty milkshakes on the menu. There are several of them, and they are all named for a person or place here in Brownville. Take this one, for example. It is called the Dandy, and it is named after Jack Pettigrew's dad. It is chocolate, caramel, and candy. We sat down and talked about things in Haywood County that might be fun to attach a milkshake to. And so that's where we got the Muddy Hatchie River, which is chocolate, 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 chocolate. My wife put her thinking cap back on again, 
ended up coming up with the Blue Oval made out of birthday cake ice cream for the birth of Blue Oval City. A malt, a homemade pie, or a big scoop of ice cream. It is all just what the doctor ordered. And no one here is counting carbs or calories. The only real advice is to relax and enjoy. Yeah, the food is great. The uh, servers are great. It's just a, a great vibe. It's been amazing. And I spend a lot of my time on the floor talking to people. And, and that's a lot of fun. We had no idea it would be this busy, this fast. Uh, it's, the whole West Tennessee has been wonderful to us. Brownsville particularly, we've got people that come two and three times a week, which is to me amazing. And on any given day, Brownsville's a small town, everybody knows everybody, but I walk out there and I do not know one person in our restaurant. And you will go visit those tables and they'll say, we drove from Dyersburg, we drove from Memphis, we drove from Jackson. So, I mean, it's a really neat, so I feel like we've kind of become a destination stop for people. Hey, how'd you like the story? We'd love to hear from you in the comments. If you enjoyed it, we have a lot more where that came from. Here's one you might like. And please click here to subscribe so you'll know when we premiere new videos. Thanks for watching.